My name is Arthur Curtis. I've been at home for almost 11 years. Hi, my name is Louis Archer and I work for Bon Appetit and I started working here in 2008. My name is Pamela L. Mitchell. I don't normally tell people that. Uh, my name is Sherelle Booker. I've been working here three years. My name is Hope Capstick. I work in the bakery. I'm Keith Harris. I've been here for the last seven years. Hi, my name is Ian Maxwell. I have been working here for four and a half years. Dorothy Craig Chandler. Um, I've worked here like five and a half years. My name is Lorena Smith. I've been at Washington University 54 years. I came here in 1961. Uh, my name is uh, Mitchell Keeper Sr. I've been with WashU 10 years. My favorite station is The Grill at The Village. My name is Matthew Frost. I started here July 9th, 2008. I've worked Ibby's the day it opened and I'm still working at Ibby's currently. It's, uh, it's non-stop working. It's constantly moving. We're always getting something either put together or ready to go for the next person or next uh, area. It's uh, lots of hands-on working with both the food and just making things look pretty, garnish and set up and that kind of stuff. Uh, and then uh, lots of me trying to charm people over to the stations. <laughs> I mean, the worst time is when there's nobody here. I, I eat a lot. I start eating. You know what I'm saying? I get bored. But when it's full, that's, that's the best time for me. I like the line going around the corner. I'm having fun. Not very often you get to have a job where you enjoy what you do and enjoy the people that you work with and get paid for it. <laughs> sometimes we have to kind of curb our laughing because sometimes it does get a little out of control. <laughs> the <other day>. <laughs> <laughs> I have paid my dues. I've been in this business, in the culinary business, uh, 33 years. So I'm in the middle of finding me. So with me finding me, I'm trying to figure out what it is that I like to do. I, I like challenges, and especially cake challenges. Even around here, some of the chefs have families where they want a special cake for a family member and they say this is what I want and I just love the challenge of looking at it and saying yes I can do that not knowing whether I can or not. I'm a musician. <laughs> I play drums. I play drums. Um, I think that's about it but I'm basically I'm an open book. <laughs> I race uh, ATVs. Oh. Yeah me and my little brother took that up about six seven years ago. It cost me a few ribs and a couple cracked teeth. I guess my big thing that I don't talk a lot about is I'm a, I'm a closet metalhead. I used to love hardcore heavy metal music. Haven't listened to it in a long time. I'm more into jazz these days, but it's something that you look at me, I'm kind of unassuming, little tiny guy, but I get pretty hardcore when I have to, so. <laughs> you have to love what you're doing, but also you have to love the kids. Kids are like my second set of kids. So a lot of things that happens touches me emotionally and I'm not an emotional person. So with that being said, I always give a speech. I'm known for my speech. You guys are like my second set of children. So it's important to me that you take care of yourself. I want to see you guys move on and graduate. You know, I want y'all to Get in your head. You have to eat. You have to sleep. I've been here for eight years. Still haven't missed one day yet. Yeah, since 2007, never missed one scheduled shift. So that just shows me how much I care for you guys. When you, when you put a smile on a person's face, you know, in a sad moment when you can build it up to put a smile on a person's face, it's a good day. I sent out a survey of a couple of notes that some students wrote about you. The first one is, just in terms of Ms. Pep, it's the sweetest and our surrogate mom. Ms. Pep encourages us to talk to her and is so sweet, even though she's serving crepes every night at such a late time, I admire her kindness. That is so nice.
nice. Your smile lights up all of BD. Thanks so much for all that you do. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you gotta have me crying! What keeps people coming back to homes is you and Joseph and Rob and Tish and Penny. You, you are what makes home so special. Yes, that's the way it's supposed to be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next time you have a second, join us in saying...